Hello and welcome to Mangatora 96 and today we're going to talk about One Piece. Today's topic will be the first samurai to have ever been introduced in the story, if we exclude Ryuma's corpse, a guy who has been a part of this story for over a decade now, and yet most fans don't care too much about him, me included, which is a shame considering how much time we spent with him so far. I'm of course talking about Kinemon. But before we start, here's the spoiler warning for the anime onlys and those of you who aren't caught up to the manga, as I will cover some events that happened only recently in the manga. Now, let's start with a brief audio on who Kinemon is. Foxfire Kinemon is a samurai from Wano, a retainer of the Kozuki family, the leader of the Nine Red Scabbards, the husband of Tsuro, and the former Tug. He was born 56 years before the present day, but traveled 20 years forward in time when he was 36 years old. Due to Wano having been taken over by Orochi, an ally of Kaido, one of the four emperors, Kinemon set on a quest to recruit warriors for his cause, bringing alongside him his master, Kozuki Momonosuke, as well as two of his comrades. After a series of misadventures, Kinemon ended up on the island of Punk Hazard, where he met and joined forces with the Straw Hat Pirates, posing as Momonosuke's father during the journey to Zo. During his youth, Kinemon was a rather brash and rude thug who partaked in thievery and assault in order to get rich quickly. He was irresponsible with money, frequently falling into financial debt due to endlessly gambling and stealing from his childhood friend Tsuro. At the time, he was seemingly fine with dying, ignoring Tsuro's advice to leave his involvement with the Yakuza and to find a normal job, otherwise he could get killed, he happily claimed no one would miss him. Still, he had a consciousness, which acted once he witnessed the chaos and destruction caused by the mountain god due to his actions, especially after learning that Tsuro, who had backed him all this time and suffered from the troubles he caused, had fallen victim to this gigantic beast. He was going to confess for his crime until Kozuki Oden stopped him. Kinemon already showed great courage and a desire to protect those dear to him in his early years, something that earned him recognition from Oden. After witnessing Oden taking the blame for the Mountain God incident, he became a devoted follower of the Shogun's son, claiming that he would die for him. After being encouraged by Yasue to reform himself for Oden's sake, Kinemon adopted a proper samurai etiquette and a very old-fashioned manner of speech. Due to his reformed outlook, Kinemon now accepts women to walk three steps behind men and talk gracefully and quietly. He on many occasions referred to Nami as a shameless, violent and obscene woman due to her careless behavior and felt disgraced when he got hit on the head by her. He seems to follow the code of Bushido, claiming he would commit suicide if he could for the shame of being dismembered without dying. Even after being completely dismembered by a mysterious ability, Kinemon still maintained his pride as a decapitated talking head. Like Momo, Kinemon is very stubborn, constantly refusing the help of others and claiming he does not need it, while also denying conditions like hunger and pain out of a warrior's pride. Only after nearly freezing to death did he finally forsake his pride and ask for help. He is greatly honorable bowing before Sanji for saving his torso, which was separated from him at the time and thanking him for his help, stating that he was in debt to him. As shown by his constant refusal to accept help from Sanji and own claims, he holds a strong dislike for all pirates. This is most likely due to his master's Odin death at the hands of Kaido and the beast pirates. Similarly, Kinemon once stated that he cannot stand the set of dragons due to Kaido himself being a dragon zone delf root user. Considering them detestable creatures and violently hammering one of punk hazards as a result. He also seems to be very quick to judge things, believing Zoro to be the one who robbed Ryuma's grave after seeing his sword Shusue, a national treasure from his country, sheathed at his waist. He has a tendency to be quite perverted in spite of his sexist ideals. Though he seems to be outraged at Nami's sense of fashion, he still greatly enjoyed ogling at her cleavage and has used his own Fuku Fuku no Mi to manifest revealing outfits for her to wear. He showed his anger and jealousy at Momo, batting with Robin and sleeping in the same bed 
is the woman of the straw hat pirates. Since Odin's and Toki's death, Kinemon now dutifully served Momo the heir to the Kozuki family protecting him from any harm or threat. He cares deeply for Momo, traveling to the dangerous punk hazards island and challenging Lo in order to find his young master. Even after being chopped to pieces, Kinemon's torso and legs still attempted to search for Momo and attacked anything that got in the way. When he learned that Momo could have been left behind during an escape sequence, he recklessly rushed through a mass of deadly gas just to rescue him, with little regard for his own safety as a demonstration of his fierce loyalty. By his own adamance, Kinemon is the type of a person who does not give up easily when it comes to a certain matter. He was adamant in making Ashura Doji their ally once again, despite the bandit's initial refusal to join Kinemon's cause. To this end, Kinemon was not above framing him to stealing from the beast pirates. However, after being confronted by Ashura, Kinemon realized this error and that he was ignorant of the suffering his comrade had endured for the last 20 years. As the leader of the Nine Red Scabbards, Kinemon knows how to take charge in times of war and rally his soldiers to victory. Still, he may think of himself as smarter than he truly is, which can lead to embarrassing situations as others praise his accidental leadership and strategic feats. Kinemon held absolute admiration and respect for Odin, the daimyo of Kuri. It began with the mountain god incident that caused destruction at the flower capital. When Odin defeated the mountain god, he saved Kinemon's childhood friend Suro in the process and also took the blame for the beast's rampage. This convinced him to dedicate his life to Odin. His loyalty to his lord was so immense that he and the other retainers attempted to steal money from another daimyo, Yasue, in order to support Odin, who was facing financial difficulties at the time. That being said, Kinemon dislikes Odin's instances in trying to sail away from Wano. When the Whitebeard pirates landed in the country, Kinemon seemingly knew his lord well enough to suspect he was trying to live with the pirates instead of driving them off the country, and panicked when Odin indeed attempted to sneak away with the future emperor. Years later, when Odin returned to the country as one of the Roger pirates, he reminded the resolute in his desire to finish Roger's quest in spite of the imploring which eclipsed a rude response from Kinemon and the other scabbards. Momo is his master's son and the heir of the Kozuki family. As a loyal retainer of the Kozuki family, Kinemon cares deeply for him and always shows massive concern for his well-being. He traveled to Punk Hazard, challenged Law, a warlord of the sea, and braved through a cloud of deadly poisonous gas to rescue his young master after they got accidentally separated. They both pretended to be father and son in order to protect Momo's identity, so the boy would not be targeted by their enemies, the Don Quixote pirates and the beast pirates. Despite stating that he detests dragons, Kinemon, stanches for his young lord, was greater, not rejecting Momo for being able to turn into a dragon. At Zo, Kinemon recognizes that Momo, despite his young age, did not want to be treated as a child and was glad that Luffy thought of the youngster as an equal. Despite being master and servant, Kinemon can become jealous of Momo and is not afraid of reprimanding him for his perverted antics. After finding out that Momo was bathing with Robin, he became enraged towards the young lord, telling him to cut off his top knot as repentances, proclaiming him as the worst kid and cursing him out of his thoughts. Although the two were not related, the straw heads noted that they both look alike and share the same perverted traits, which made the lie about being father and son believable. As the leader of the Nine Red Scabbards, Kinemon has a certain degree of authority among the group. As such, he is an experienced leader who can take charge during a crisis and is capable of successfully rallying soldiers to war. The other scabbards appear to respect Kinemon as a leader, most notably Denjiro. Before becoming a proper samurai, Kinemon was nothing more than a thug who assaulted and stole from people, but his strength and reputation were already recognized by even Hyogoro, the most prominent Yakuza of the flower capital. One of Kinemon's more unique abilities is his ability to speak through farthing. This was convenient since it allowed Kinemon a certain method of communication after getting caught up by law at Punk Hazard, 
as his legs had been attached to a dragon's body while his head remained confined in a cell in the third research institution. Incidentally, Tinemon also showed that his legs could utilize observation hockey by themselves. Noted by Orochi for his tactical intelligence, Kinemon is an extremely clever tactician, having been one of the formulation most of the strategies being behind the Alliance revolution against Emperor Kaido. Address Rosa, Kinemon was the one who came up with the idea of disguising Zoro, Luffy and himself as toys with animal costumes to get away from the marines without driving attention. He was also smart enough to disguise himself as Don Quixote do Flamingo while searching through the Dressrosa royal palace, allowing him to trick gladiators without the latter suspecting him of being an intruder. At Onigashima, Kinemon would employ similar tactics, camouflaging the members of the ninja, parrot, mink, samurai alliance in uniforms of the beast parts, allowing them to better infiltrate Kaido's domain and assimilate among his forces while remaining undetected until the time of the confrontation. He also made sure that every ship used by the samurai sank upon landing on Onigashima with the intent of erasing evidence of the presence from the Orochis or Niwabanshu. His strategies, however, are not always flawless, sometimes requiring an extraordinary amount of luck for them to come into fruition. In order to recruit Ashura Doji, his former comrade and the leader of the Mount Atamaya thieves, Kinemon successfully framed his group for stealing supplies from the beast parts in order to provoke conflict between them, so Ashura would find himself forced to join the rebellion out of survival. But that ended up backfiring when Ashura discovered Kinemon's team. The bandit eventually rejoined the scabbards anyway, but mostly because of Yasui's convenient sacrifice. Something similar happened later at the start of the Onigashima raid, where Kinemon managed to accidentally mislead the alliance traitor because it turned out to be the only samurai in all of Wano who did not realize the real meaning of Yasui's secret message. Having already fought its contents and expecting everybody else to have followed the same logical process he did. Kinemon ate a Fuku Fuku no Mi, a paramecia type Delfruit that allows him to transform small objects placed on a person's head such as peebles and leaves into various articles of clothing. The clothes disappear once they have been removed or once they have taken a certain amount of damage. He must first visualize the appearance of the clothes, otherwise his creations are limited. While this power lacks direct combat applications, it does have a number of support functions. He can provide quick disguises for himself and his allies, letting them move around enemy territory freely. He can also provide necessary attire for survival in harsh weather conditions, such as creating a wetter coat that can be worn in a frigid climate. Finally, he can create armor that can be used in combat. With this, I covered everything that I wanted to cover on Kinemon in this video. And that will be all for this video. If you like this video, leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or subscribe to the channel for more One Piece content as well as other manga content. And ulti next time. Take care.